I want you to think about this. Imagine seamlessly matching footage from different cameras, your Red Komodo, your Sony FX3, your Canon R5, and even an iPhone 15 Pro Max as if they were all shot with a single camera. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make that dream a reality with three powerful techniques. Consistent color grading is crucial for professional looking videos but different cameras have different color sciences, making manual matching challenging and time consuming. And that's where our first technique comes in, which is our standard color space transform. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to set it up properly. So first up, we'll talk about what the difference is between a scene referred color space and a display referred color space. Working in a scene referred color space maintains the full dynamic range of your footage. This means that if you're shooting footage on a Canon R5, which Canon has advertised to have approximately 14 stops of dynamic range, or a Red Komodo, which Red has advertised that it has 16 plus stops of dynamic range, it means that you're gonna be able to get the most out of your footage without losing information in the darkest shadows and the brightest highlights, as opposed to working in a display referred color space, which limits you to about six stops of dynamic range because it's meant to be for final viewing. This is gonna give you the most flexibility and control over your color grading. To set up a scene referred color space in DaVinci Resolve, we'll be using DaVinci YRGB instead of DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. DaVinci YRGB gives us complete manual control over our color space and gamma settings, allowing us to individually set an adjust these for each clip, timeline, and output. This approach provides the most flexibility and precision perfect for those who want to customize the workflow according to their specific needs. So now that we're working in manual, let's get into Color Space Transform. So Color Space Transform in DaVinci Resolve is essentially like a translator for your footage. It takes the colors and brightness levels from the camera's unique language and converts them into a common language that your editing software can understand better. This is useful because it ensures that all your footage, no matter what camera it came from, looks consistent and can be edited with the full range of colors and details. Now this is especially useful when you shoot in a log format, which is designed to capture the maximum dynamic range and detail from your camera. Essentially, Color Space Transform helps you get the most out of your footage and makes the color grading process much smoother. So how do you set this up? All right, so first, we'll set up your CSC note convert your footage to a common log color space like RE Log C3 because the RE Alexas are believed to be industry standards and the color space when it pertains to dynamic stops is believed to be pretty wide. So once you've set up your CSC in and CSC out with the proper color space transform settings according to your camera, you wanna do all your adjustments and color grading between those two so that you get the most out of those 14 stops or 16 plus stops of dynamic range that you're gonna be working with. Another really popular color space is is DaVinci Wide Gamuts. And that is because DaVinci Wide Gamuts ability to handle more than 15 stops of dynamic range can ensure that all details from the darkest shadows to the brightest highlights are preserved. So it's another one that a lot of colorists in the industry will use to keep things consistent and get the most flexibility and control out of their color grading process. And you can trust that this is a good way to set up your CST node because that's how it's displayed on the DaVinci Resolve manual, which you can see here. Next, let's talk about using a color checker. The one that I specifically use is the x -Rite Password Color Checker, which I've linked down below. A color checker helps you capture accurate colors during your shoot which makes matching in post-production much easier. And this is super easy to do. During your shoot, you'll wanna capture a few seconds of footage off your color checker in your frame, and then you'll wanna bring in that clip into DaVinci Resolve. Now in DaVinci Resolve, you'll use this reference to match colors accurately across different shots. This method is especially useful in different lighting conditions because it will help you make sure that you have the most color accuracy, especially when working with different cameras. Finally, let's look at Color Clone by Filmatic AI, an AI tool that automates the color matching process. Now, full transparency, Filmatic AI did provide me with the plugin in exchange for a review, but this video isn't sponsored, so my impressions and review are 100% unbiased. Now, from what I've learned from going through all the tutorials and talking to one of the founders, Color Clone uses advanced algorithms to automatically analyze and match footage from different cameras, saving you lots of time and headaches from having to do it all manually. The process is super easy and simple. Now you want to import your footage into DaVinci Resolve, apply Color Clone onto a node, and watch as it seamlessly matches your clips to a master color scheme. The tool is incredibly easy to use and ensures that you have accurate colors when matching cameras across all your footage. This is not to be confused with the Color Space Transform tool as they work differently according to the founders from Filmatic AI. 
In their own words, this is how they explain it. The reality is, Resolve CST uses fixed mathematical equations to try to make transforms. It doesn't take into account the many real-world variables, such as light spectrum. However, our color clone algorithm doesn't just use a theoretical equation. It analyzes real-world data to come up with a camera sensor response with respect to color. In short, we're able to represent an actual color transform that happens in the camera. Another thing that I love is that Filmatic AI is a small company founded by filmmakers who are dedicated to continuously improving their product. They created this plugin for their own workflow and when they realized how much of a lifesaver it was, they decided to offer it to other filmmakers who would also find it very useful. This means that they want to continue to improve it and they want our feedback to do so. I personally love it and yes, I would love to see some things on future firmware updates. Some of those are extra cameras added to the roster like DJI drones, Insta360 and maybe even GoPro to name a few. I'd also like the temperature and tint sliders to behave a little bit more like the chromatic adaptation tool in DaVinci Resolve, which is not a big deal, but I do find the chromatic adaptation tool to be more intuitive and in how it adjusts white balance. But those are just some things that I'd love to see and that I know that they're actively working towards. The current version of the tool is really great though and has great potential for being even better in the future. Here's a side by side comparison of footage matched using Color Clone by Filmatic AI. Now, while CST and color checkers provide excellent control and accuracy, Color Clone offers unmatched convenience and speed. Now, that's not to say that by using Color Clone, you don't need to do any further work, but it's a great use of AI to help us filmmakers focus on the creative side of things and not the technical, which can sometimes be quite daunting. Now, if you found this helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe for more. And if you liked any of the color grading in this video, you can find more tutorials like this right here, which will help you achieve a similar look. Peace.